I need a new TV. Or do I? The venerable TV isn't something that we upgrade very often, certainly not compared to our smartphones and our computers. I tend to lump TVs into the same categories of functional electronics, a fridge or vacuum cleaner or a toaster, and they're things that we tend to buy and forget, sometimes for years. In the TV space though, things do move along quite quickly, from idiot boxes to smart TVs, from 20 inches to over 100, and from standard resolution to 8K or more. What more? Prices are getting really accessible. It's pretty nuts. But what if there was an alternative? What if we could get the same audio-visual experience without the conventional TV box? Well, we're gonna find out today. Cue sexy B-roll. So this is the Epson EH TW7000 4K Pro UHD 3 LCD projector. It's super color, fragilistic, XP alidocious. Wow, that was a mouthful. Let's hope it's easier to set up and use than to spell out. If you're a subscriber, welcome back. Thank you for your support. And if you're new here, do hit the subscribe and bell icons. First, here are some key specs and features. Aesthetically, the TW7000 has a typically projector-like chassis with a glossy white plastic exterior. The projection lamp on the front has a zoom ratio of up to 1.62 times with a focal length of 18.2 to 29.2 mm. It weighs 6.6 kilos, which makes it not too hefty to carry around. Flanking the lens is a front air exhaust for better ventilation. Placing the projector from 295cm to 478cm away from the wall, it can achieve a 100-inch screen size. The projector uses an RGB liquid crystal shutter projector system, or 3LCD, with a native resolution of 1080p. 1080p? I thought it was a 4K projector. We'll revisit this in a bit. It uses a 250W lamp, which is good for up to 5000 hours in eco mode. That's equivalent to about... Hey Google, how many days is 5,000 hours? 5,000 hours is equal to 208.333 days. Thank you. Next, in normal mode, the projector offers up to 3,000 lumens of white and color brightness or 2,000 lumens in eco mode. Also a contrast ratio of 40,000 to 1. It also offers geometric correction, with vertical and horizontal keystone of plus minus 30 degrees. In tandem, the TW7000 delivers 100% balanced color and white brightness, offering 10-bit white color range of smooth tonal transitions, without rainbow effects. It also sports a high dynamic range function, with HDR10 support. Additionally, it supports 3D content, able to convert 2D content into 3D, for a more immersive movie experience. Over on the top are two knobs that let you control lens shift, ranging from 60% vertically and 24% horizontally. This allows for a wider range of placement possibilities. On the back, you'll find an array of expansion ports, including two HDMI ports, two USB Type-A ports, one USB Type Mini B port, and a stereo mini jack. It has Bluetooth 5.0 with Qualcomm aptX audio support built in. Optional Wi-Fi connectivity up to 130 megabits per second comes in the form of the wireless LAN unit, ELPAP10. The TW7000 does not come with built-in speakers. As with any projectors, you can place it on a side table or desk or have it mounted on the ceiling. Adjustable front feet enable you to get the optimum angle to project on your wall. I have a light grey wall which experts say is the best colour for projectors. Lucky me. Setting up the unit was easy peasy. Simply plug in the power cord to the unit and power source. Plug in your media sources like your Blu-ray player, smart device, computer, game console or like me, a Google Chromecast. Remove the lens cover and then press the power button. And then boom! You're off to the races. 
There is no step 5. Okay, I lied. You still need to connect to the audio output. Connect wired or Bluetooth speakers, soundbar or headphones. Okay, seriously, that's it. I must admit, I was a little skeptical with the idea of having a projector at home, especially replacing an actual TV. Being a cinema goer, the projector delivers a similar cinematic feel to that of a cinema. Color reproduction and contrast is surprisingly good, and while I still needed to darken the living hall slightly during daytime, the projector performed commendably throughout. There are five preset modes to adjust the optimal image output or the look of the visuals. I found I preferred the natural preset the best. You can fine-tune settings further by assessing the menu. The HDR function gives you more vibrant, contrasty images, and you can adjust this to your liking via the settings menu. I did not test the projector with games as I do not own a gaming console, and I mostly tested it with stream content off my Chromecast. Connecting my pair of Jabra Elite 85H noise cancelling headphones was a cinch, and the combination provided me hours of cinematic pleasure. I've been on several episodes of Marvel's Jessica Jones, we watched the Fast and the Furious, and the epic Atomic Blonde. Nolan's Dunkirk looked amazing by the way. But while the TW7000 has APTX support, unfortunately my headphones didn't. Hence, there was notable out-of-sync audio. This is easily solved by plugging in a cable, of course. By the way, the projector starts up in about 20 seconds and takes around 7 seconds to cool down before it shuts down. Fan noise is at acceptable levels, around 35 decibels in normal mode and 24 decibels in eco mode. With wide keystone control and lens shifting, Flexibility in placement is one of its key strengths. You can easily place the projector on a side table. Although personally, if I do own this, I'd have it mounted on the ceiling. So here are some things that I like about the TW7000. Firstly, it's comparatively cheaper than getting a 100-inch 4K TV. Yes, you may argue that you'll need to replace the lamp every 5,000 hours, but even so, the projector is cheaper to run over 5 years or more. It's also a breeze to set up, and you can be up and running in a couple of steps. Thanks to its zoom lens and lens shift features, it's easy to adapt to your living space. Being fairly compact, it's not intrusive, and that's a good thing. That also means it can be moved from room to room if needed. But perhaps the thing that matters most is the visual quality and cinematic experience. Sure, it's not quite as sharp and bright as one of those swanky Samsung QLEDs or LG OLED TVs, but there's this theatre-like cinematic experience to it. Color reproduction and contrast are quite impressive. Paired with a good soundbar or speaker setup or a pair of headphones, you'll be in for quite a treat. The multitude of connectivity ports gives you the flexibility to connect your devices, whether it's a game console, PC, or media streaming device. So here's what I didn't like. The TW7000 lacks any built-in speakers, and I just wish it had at least a pair of speakers as a starting point. I know audiophiles may think otherwise, since pairing the projector with a proper audio system would be more ideal. Still, I feel it's a good option to have out of the box. While it's branded a 4K projector, it isn't really a 4K projector. The 3 LCD projection system actually has a native resolution of 1080p. It, however, upscales full HD content to 4K resolution by shifting each pixel diagonally to double the resolution. The other thing that may stop people from jumping on this projector is the price. Being the pro model in the lineup, it's priced at a bit of a premium. Comparatively, you could get a solid 65 or 70 inch 4K UHD Smart TV for the same price, for those who prefer the conventional route that is. The Epson EH TW7000 projector retails for 6,238 ringgit. After all that's been said, the TW7000 seems like a solid product if you were looking for an alternative non-conventional audio-visual experience. Visual quality is spot on and it's easy to set up and operate. Personally, I'm still on the fence on this one. What about you? Let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe and that bell icon. Until the next video, take care, stay safe and peace.